Rooney. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Finance and asks, does he stand by all of his statements on the pro proposed extension to paid parental leave? The Honourable, Honourable Bill English. Mr Speaker, yes, particularly uh, the statement that government supports parents uh, and families. We spend $154 million on providing the current paid parental leave, which has increased by $67 per week since 2008. Alongside that, the government spends $1.4 billion on early childhood education subsidies and $2.6 billion on working for families payments. We have made sure that despite budgets being tight and despite a recession, we have at least maintained all these payments to families. Sumaroni. Does he stand by his statement in April that the bill to extend paid parental leave would require an extra $500 million in borrowing over the next three to four years? The Honourable Bill English. Uh, Mr Speaker, yes. Sumaroni. Did he receive advice from the Department of Labour on April the 11th, the day he announced his intention to use a financial veto, that showed the maximum cost of the bill was $285.6 million oh. over three years, That's almost right. half the figure he misled the public with? The Honourable Bill English. Uh, Mr Speaker, if you uh, add the number for the fourth year, they're pretty similar. The, 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 the simple point is, they are, the simple point is, the member's proposition will double the cost of paid parental leave. I look forward to the day when the government has those sorts of choices. We don't have those choices now. We're working hard to maintain the current expenditure of $155 million, 154 million on paid parental leave, $1.4 billion on early childhood subsidies, which has increased by 40 per cent in the last four years, and two point uh, $2.6 billion on working for families' payments. We are supporting families very extensively. Sumeroni. A point of order. A point of order, Sumeroni. I seek leave to table a document from the Department of Labour released under the Official Information Act to me, which shows that uh, the maximum cost of pay, the paid parental leave bill over three years would be $285.6 million. Leave sought to table that document. Is there any objection? There is objection. A supplementary? Supplementary question, Sumeroni. Did he tell journalists at a press conference he held that he won't extend paid parental leave even after the government books get back into surplus when he announced his intention to use a financial veto on April the 11th? The Honourable Bill English. Well, Mr Speaker, it's not a matter of whether I will extend paid parental leave. What I did announce was that, the, that uh, in my statutory role as finance minister, I'd be vetoing uh, this particular bill because of the high cost of it at this time. Of course, governments have got, uh, have got um, choices in the future, uh, and those choices will all be fairly difficult. Paid parental leave will be only one of a long list of aspirations New Zealanders will have once the, uh, the government gets its books back into surplus. Point of order, Mr Speaker. Point of order, Sumeroni. Mr Speaker, the question was very direct. I asked him if he told, if he told journalists um, a particular statement. He didn't respond to the question. I, if, if, what, I, what I'll do, because I cannot recollect exactly the question asked, I'll allow the member to repeat a question, but it had better ask just that. Thank you, Mr Speaker. It does Sumeroni. indeed. Did he tell journalists at a press conference he held that he won't extend paid parental leave even after the government books get back into surplus when he announced his intention to use a financial veto on April the 11th? Simple question. The Honourable Bill English. Well, Mr Speaker, I, I, I can't recall exactly the words that were used, uh, but what I'm telling, I'll repeat, but I can tell the member, it's not a matter of me extending paid parental leave. I announced that as Minister of Finance in my statutory capacity, as used many times by previous Ministers of Finance, uh, I would veto uh, that particular piece of legislation. I look forward to the time where the government has the kind of choice that the member is proposing, but right now, uh, with a significant deficit, we don't have that choice, and I'm sure my remarks at the press conference reflected the reality that when we do get to surplus, there are, there are many aspirations New Zealanders will have, of which this is only one, and at the time it may not be the most important. Question number 11, Jamie Lee Ross. Mr Speaker. My question is to the...